by the amount of pressure, the amount of pressure, the amount of pressure they're putting on this Kyrie kid boy. Kyrie came on his uh, Twitter and he said, listen, I was not put on this earth to participate or incite any racial or religious war or injustice. Listen, man, Kyrie, boy, listen, you just lit the match, baby, but we're running with the flame. Okay, don't worry, man. It's not your fault. Blame somebody. Blame me. Blame anybody else. Don't have to blame yourself, man. We just picked up something that you just caught by accident, brother. We, listen, you sneezed and the whole black community caught a cold, baby. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Because what's coming out of the woodwork now are all of these white supremacists walking around pretending to be Jews. That's what's come out of the woodwork. Every time one of you comes on my page and says crazy stuff about how um, I hate Jewish people, I'm an anti-Semite, I'm a this, I'm a that, and the words that you're using are not very religious. Not very religious. Um, you just show yourself to be the racist white supremacist that we believe you to be. It's all. It's all. I have Jewish people to come at me very nicely. I have Jewish people to come at me very wicked and evil. And the ones that come at me wicked and evil, you're the ones we're talking about. It's all. So please keep filling up this page so that we can see you. We can identify you. We can make you a case study. Okay? And I said it in a one minute splurt just before because I wanted you to get it. I wanted you to have that as a soundbite for your brain. I wanted it to be I wanted it to be on social media. See, sometimes you gotta be wiser than the algorithm. You gotta be wiser than these people, right? Because they're gonna pull little words out of my mouth. They're gonna create snippets and then they're gonna create their own narrative. So I did it ahead of time. I created a one minute, a one minute, very simple ambiguous I don't hate Jews I don't hate Jews I don't hate Jews say see see let that let this be the real I don't hate Jews I don't hate Jews this is what they got everybody saying on Twitter so I'm gonna say I don't hate Jews I don't hate Jews see so I've said it multiple times right I've put it out there into the algorithm and so now they can't rewind it back and try to create something else. What is happening is there's white supremacists operating as Jews that hate blacks. But what's happening is there's white supremacists operating as Jews that hate blacks. But what's happening is there's white supremacists operating as Jews who hate blacks. See that? See how I did that? Good. So you can pull out those little sound bites, put them in the places that they need to be so that people understand what we're saying. What is our narrative? That the Afro-Semitic people are true Hebrews. That the Afro-Semitic people are true Hebrews. That the Afro-Semitic people are true Hebrews. See, I'm, I'm saying it so that you continually get it because you're coming on this particular channel. You've been sent, you've been told, you've been incited, or maybe you've been blessed by the algorithm fairies. But you're here now and you're, and you're seeing all of this traffic, you're seeing all of these comments, you may be realizing that some of the comments are things that people have independent thoughts about, and then some of the comments you see are things that you're, you're, you're concerned about. But listen to what I'm saying out of my mouth. You understand? What I'm here to do is I'm here to knock down any false narrative that identifies Afro-Semitic people as not being part of the, of the Israelite family. I'm here to crush it, and I'm here to correct any individual who believes that Gentile lines are part of the bloodline that is consistent with Israel. You can be a convert, call yourself a convert. So um, one of the rabbis I can't, who's gonna be coming on, I won't say his name yet until he confirms, but he was part of the conversion of Amari Stoudemire. This is what he called it. According to Amari Stoudemire, he's already Shemitic. There's, there's a narrative that even Afro-Shemitic people need to be converted to Judaism. No. You can't convert somebody when that's what they are, right? You can continually educate them, you can lift them up, you can, you can show them more information, you can teach them how to read biblical Hebrew, you can do things like that, but you can't convert somebody who is already what they are. And this is where I'm coming from, this is where I am, this is where we live. We live in a place where we're trying to give you the right thing to say. 
the right narrative. I am Del K. Brereton. I am pro-Shemitic. This is the real spiel.